introduction, shown as the right side of the 773 air truck. Key new features include ECPC transmission, access systems, heated mirrors, cap, advisor display hydraulic brakes. The 773F has a Tier 3 compliant C27 ACERT engine and cooling system. The 775F has a Tier 2 compliant C27 ACERT engine and cooling system. Specification for the 773F truck are Serial No For fix EED Empty weight 30,164 kilograms 66,500 pounds Look carrying capacity 54.4 metric tons 60 tons Gross machine weight GMW Colon 99,337 kilograms 219,000 pounds Width 4.47 meters 14.4 feet height 4.42 meters 14 5 feet gross power 567 kW 760 horsepower Specification for the 775 F truck are Serial no For fix DLS Empty weight 30,391 kilograms 67,000 pounds Look carrying capacity 63.5 metric tons 70 tons Gross machine weight GNW Colon 108,409 kilograms 239,000 pounds Width 4.47 meters 14.4 feet height 4.42 meters 14 5 feet gross power 567 kW 760 horsepower Operator's station the operator's station for the 773F-775F of highway truck has changed from the previous 773E-775E. The cab is similar to the cab used on the 777F of highway trucks. The new side-mounted cab provides better visibility for the operator in addition to more convenient. Entrance and exit to the operator's station. The machine controls are displayed in the following pages. Machine control. The engine shutdown switch, 2, is used for stopping the engine from the ground. The light switch, 1, is used for turning on the stairway lights. Located on the left side of the dash are the following controls. Stairway light switch, 1. Headlamp switch, 2. Hazard switch, 3. Panel light switch, 4. Intermittent wiper, washer, turn, signal control and dimmer switch. 5. Telescopic, tilt, steering, located on the right side of the dash are the following controls. Automatic retarder control. 1. Front brake switch. 2. Dot. The front brake switch allows the operator to turn the front brakes on or off. This switch should be in the on position during normal operation. Advisor system. 3. Secondary steering and parking brake release switch. 4. Normally, when switch is depressed, the steering system receives secondary steering oil and the parking brake release oil flows the tank. When the brake release diverter, towing, valve spool is shifted, this switch will also release the parking brake and provide hoist pilot oil for lowering the body on. Trucks with a dead lean. This switch also performs as a manual engine pre-loop. Manual retarder control lever. 5. Engine start switch. 6. Fan speed suitage. 7. Temperature vehicle lock. 8. Air conditioning on off switch. 9. Cigarette lighter. 10. Dot. The cigarette lighter socket receive a 24 volt power supply, a 12 volt power supply, an additional 24 volt supply provide behind the body seat. To the right of the operator's seat is a console which contains the transmissive shift lever. 1. And the body hoist lever. 2. The transmission has 7 speed forward and 1 reverse. The top gear limit and body up gear limit are controlled by the chassis ECM. The top gear limit and the body up gear limit are programmable using electronic technician. The top gear limit can be changed from 1st to 7th. The body up gear limit can be changed from first to third. The shift lever lock button. 3. 
must be pushed in before the shift lever can be moved from P arc. R reverse and neutral and from D drive to in neutral. The parking brakes are engaged whenever the shift lever is in the P PAK R position. Placement of the shift lever in the 1 first gear position or 2 second gear position will Engage only that gearing will not allow automatic upshift or downshift. Placement of the shift in the B D R U V E position will enable upshift and downshift. The top gear is selected by use of the momentary buttons in the shifter handle. The top button, 4, will shift the top gear selection to the next higher gear through 7th gear. The bottom button, 5, will shift the top gear selection to the next last gear through the first gear. The selected top gear and the actual gear will be displayed on the messenger display. The hoist system is electrically controlled. The hoist control level, 1, activates the four position of the hoist control valve. The four position are raised, hold, float and lower. A fifth position of the hoist valve is called the snuff position. The operator does not have control of the snuff position. The body up switch controls the snuff position of the hoist valve. When the body is lowered, just before the body contacts the frame, the chassis ECM signals the hoist solenoids to move the hoist valve spool to the snuff position. In the snuff position, the body float speed is reduced to prevent hard contact of the body with the frame. The track should normally be operated with the hoist lever in the float position. Traveling with the hoist in the float position will make sure the weight of the body is on the frame and body pads are not on the hoist cylinders. The hoist valve will actually be in the snuff position. If the transmission is in reverse, when the body is being raised, the hoist lever sensor is used to shift the transmission to neutral. The transmission will remain in neutral until 1. The hoist lever is moved into the hold or float position to and 2. The shift lever has been cycled into and out of neutral. The hoist lever is also used to start a new TPMS cycle. Note, if the truck is started with the body raised and the hoist lever in float, the lever must be moved into hold and then float position before the body if the transmission is in reverse. When the body is being raised, the hoist lever sensor is used to shift the transmission to neutral. The transmission will remain in neutral until when the hoist lever is moved into the hold or float position to end. 2. The shift lever has been cycled into and out of neutral. The hoist lever is also used to start a new TPMS cycle. Note, if the truck is start with the body raised and the hoist lever in float the lever must be moved. Into hold and then float position before the body will lower. Shown are the control pedals on the floor of the 777D. The throttle pedal, 1 has a position sensor attached that sends a signal to LTHE engine ECM. The service brake pedal, 2, applies the brakes to all four wheels if the front brake on off switch is in the on position. The secondary brake pedal, 3, is used to apply the parking brakes in the rear of the service brakes on the front wheels. Shown in the lower visual are the pedals on the floor of the 777F. Although the throttle pedal, 4, has changed, the sensor remains the same. The service brake pedal, 5, is used for primary braking for the machine. The secondary brake pedal, 6, is used to apply the parking brakes in the event of a primary braking system failure. The overhead switches are as follows. A heated mirror switch, 1. A traction control switch, 2. A brake release secondary steering switch, 3. And a reverse light switch, 4. Shown in the bottom visual is the fuse panel. 5. For the 777F, automotive style fuses have replaced the previous screw in type fuses. Provided is a 12 volt power supply. 7. Dot. With ET software installed on a laptop computer. Diagnostic code and programming can be preformed by voting to the connector. 6. Location. 8. Will hold the connector for product link if equipped. Location 9 will hold the connector for truck payload measurement system TPMS if equipped.
Monitoring System The Caterpillar Monitoring System on the 773E 775E is a flexible modular monitoring system that includes a message center module, various switches and sensor and action lamp and in action ALRM. The here of the system is the message center module where information is received from switches and sensors and other ECMs over the CAT data link. The information is processed by the message center module, then activates various output components. The truck payload monitoring system, TPMS, is an optional system that can be installed on the truck to monitor and record production data such as payload and cycle time. The TPMS is not on the CAT data link and requires a separate communication port for downloading and viewing the production information. The machine monitor system on the 773F, 775F tracks converts the machine status communicated from the other ECMs to the operator. The machine monitor system includes an instrument cluster and advisor display, an engine ECM, a chassis ECM and a brake ECM. The instrument cluster is a CAD display that shows the operator the status of various machine parameters as well as alerts the operator of specific machine conditions. The instrument cluster is driven by the advisor display via the controller area network. CAN Data Link The advisor display is an LCD module with its operator actuated push buttons which will allow the Operator to access menus to display machine status along with diagnostic events and TPMS data. The advisor can also be used to set desired values for various machine functions. The 773F-775F monitoring system can also have the following attachment. VIMS product link, inclinometer, telemetry, antenna and GPS anti. Shown is the instrument cluster. 1. Located in the center of the front dash panel. 18 dash indicators, 5 analog gauges and the 2 digital display are visible. Alert indicators from left to right. Left turn signal. Throttle backup. Primary steering loss. Secondary steering engaged. Check engine. Brake system check. Park brake engaged. Power train system check. Action lamp. Charging system, body up, machine lock out active, transmission in reverse, high beam, retarder engaged, traction control system engaged, machine immobilizer, right turn. The five parameters monitored by the analog gauges are bottom left to right, brake oil temperature, engine coolant temperature, engine speed, torque converter oil temperatures, fuel level. Shown above is the new Caterpillar Advisor Graphical Display Module. Attachment. Dot. It is located on the right side of the dash. It is the operator and technician's interface which the Caterpillar Monitoring and Display System. Information is displayed on a back at LCD display screen. The top portion of the screen is called the top banner and it display vital machine information. At all times. The top banner may display different information from machine to machine, depending on the model and the attachment that are installed. At the right of the display screen is a column of five user interface buttons. The button are used to navigate through the numerous advisor screen to make menu selections or to enter data. The five buttons from top to bottom are one left up arrow button. This button is used for screen navigation or data entry. It can be used to scroll up a vertical list or scroll left across a horizontal list. To decrease a setting value such as decreasing brightness, contrast. 2. 
Down, right arrow button, this button also used for screen navigation or data entry. It can be used to scroll down a vertical list or scroll right across a horizontal list. To increase a setting value such as increasing brightness, contrast. 3. Back button, this button is used to go up one level in a stair step. Hierarchical menu structure or to return to the previous screen. Much the same as the back button is used in Windows Internet Explorers. As a backspace or cancel key when the operator or serviceman wishes to delete entered characters. Back button, this button is used to go up one level in a stair step. Hierarchical menu structure or to return to LTHE previous screen. Much the same as the back button is used in Windows Internet Explorers. As a backspace or cancel key when the operator or serviceman wishes to delete entered characters. 4. Home button. This button is used to return to the home menu screen. Regardless of what screen is currently displayed. 5. OK button. This button is used to make selections from a screen. To confirm an entry such as a password or for saving an operator profile entry. Navigation through the menus and submenus is accomplished by using the arrow button to highlight the mode or to set a parameter. Pressing the OK button selects that option. Opening parenthesis. Example. Choosing either enable or disable lead for the float option in the implement setting menu. Note the column of five buttons at the left of the display screen currently have no function. The messenger system, standard, consists of the display, one, and four navigation buttons that are used to navigate throughout the menu structure. The button function as follow. Back, two, colon, used to navigate to the previous screen that was accessed in messenger. Left, up, three, colon, allow the user to scroll left or up. Scroll direction is dependent on the specific data that is being displayed on the screen. Right down, four, colon, Allow the user to scroll right or down. Scroll direction is dependent on the specific data that is being displayed on the screen. OK, 5 acts as a confirmation function for the messenger. The 12 volt power supply and the rocker switch are located behind the hoist control lever. Transmission control lever, port 1, is a 12 volt PWER supply. Rocker switch 2 will raise the engine idle if the throttle position on the sensor has failed. The air conditioner 1 has been redesigned on the 773F778F. The air conditioning unit is now located behind the cap.